Uh, good morning everyone. Uh, I'm just going to give a brief uh, conversation discussion here today. What the Construction IT Alliance, uh, where we're going with the research for this year, what we're doing, what we have done. And I want to actually discuss something that's quite interesting and might be, uh, you know, I might gather a little bit of interest within the room about an initiative that's gaining a lot of traction throughout Europe uh, that Alan is involved in and that I'm uh, currently involved in as well. So just a, a brief note that the roadmap has been re-released. The link is up there, so if you want to access information, please do. The roadmap was rescinded just for a while because they were adding a new piece, and this new piece looks at the World Economic Forum and rolling that out and how it can be applied in Ireland and what the results mean. So uh, you can see the BIM adoption cycle, and we conducted a study to see where we are in regards to that cycle there in collaboration, enable, and motivation. So the results are there. I won't spoil them for you. So please go there and download that. The BIM in Ireland Umbrella Group had their first meeting. Uh, what the Umbrella Group is uh, an accumulation of the different professional bodies that represent BIM, such as the SSI, RAII, CIC, uh, Engineers Ireland, so forth, so etc. And we have meetings every month to just kind of offer a holistic environment to help spread. Uh, the combined message of what everyone else is doing. So uh, messages this year at the moment from the RII is that they're working with the CIC and they're feeding information back to the construction sector group on what the digital project should entail and the scope within it. So the CSG, uh, I think most of you know, are the construction sector group and they've been established to provide information on construction reform for the public sector. So digital project is part of that and they see the National BIM roadmap as an element within that project. Further to that, uh, the NSLI have completed the ISO 965 Annex. So that's going to be released for further interrogation to the public by June. And Michael Early of the RAI is working with the Office of Government Procurement in regards to establishing standards to help with their BIM execution plans. Transport Infrastructure, or Transport Infrastructure Ireland have also gone to planning on their Metrolink. Their Lewis project is going to be using BIM. They've released an e-tender for a common data environment, as well as opening up a research portal where they're inviting research proposals. The SCSI have announced a new co-chair to work with Dr. Apple Beaton, which is Hugh G. Nicolai, and they have worked with the Mirror Committee and they've reached out to the likes of the CIF to help work and the RAI to help work in their documents from a quantity surveying perspective. As well as that, within their council, at their monthly meetings, BIM has now become a standing topic and it's discussed. So they're integrating BIM across all their activities. So it's gaining a lot of traction, as would be expected. And as we can see, in this umbrella group is uh, working just to put across the message that, you know what I mean, like collaboration and what all these are doing together. One of the key things that we're going to work on this year, myself, Alan, and Professor Roger West from Trinity College Dublin, is we're looking at doing a state of readiness for BIM survey. And what that means is that I just don't want to do a survey of going to the BIM companies and saying, are you using BIM, and then come back, oh, 90% of the industry are using BIM, which we know is untrue. So it's actually going out and getting a diverse selection of SME contractors, architects, engineers, mechanical, electrical, and really trying to get an understanding of where we are in case so we understand how we have to respond to a potential mandate coming down the future or whatever happens. I'd like to talk a bit further here today about the BIM Supporters Initiative. This is something that uh, Alan's involved in and as well as that I'm starting to get involved in here. And this is from an organisation that originated from the Netherlands. So you might be asking, well, why am I talking about a company that originated from the Netherlands? Well, Building Smart International have recognised BIM supporters and they're going to work with them to provide funding in order to expand their activities across Europe. So what exactly is it? BIM supporters offered a really affordable resources in regards to their compass, their secrets, BIM execution plan, how to become a BIM certified consultant. So anyone in this room can become a BIM certified consultant, which will open up more work to use. We are looking at trying to get an Irish database up and going, and BIM analytics. So I'm going to go into a couple of these, not in much detail, but I'll go into a couple of these, what services are being offered. 
So how it works, this is example the BIM compass. So you can go online now, use the BIM compass for your, oneself or for a company. It'll give you an idea of some of the gaps, where you're strong, where you're weak. And it'll also give you a selection of data that you compare compared to other companies. Uh, so it measures the level of BIM in your organisation, provides valuable insights. And as well as you can hire one of the BIM consultants within BIM supporters organisation who can come in and can help further drive the agenda, kind of sit down with you, go through the question in more detail and offer realistic advice about how you can plug those gaps. The BIM uh, execution plan generator, this is really innovative, I thought, uh, used an algorithm, so you have about 12 sections, could be introduction, collaboration, goals, and the project manager would initiate the execution plan. They would send a link then to the rest of the organisation, and then they would start filling in the same questions. And what it ultimately does then is at the end of this process, uh, at the end, sorry, at the end of this process, you'll get a BIM execution plan, and within it you'll have the key areas that people agreed with, and it also will highlight key areas where people disagreed. With that, you can start to understand, okay, this is where we're not making communication, this is where we're on, we're off, and you can decide about how to kind of ensure that people are on the same page in regards to your BIM execution plan. Also, it'll ask you questions to a level of detail, model few definitions, industry foundation class, and with that understanding, it'll help plotting graphs, and it'll give you kind of an analysis of where there's gaps and where people need an additional, uh, I suppose, help. So the great thing about this, if you want to go on now and do it, you can do that for free. All these tools are for free to a point, and then obviously if you want to get the professional version, it's only a small fee. Uh, do you have something called BIM Secrets? That sounds pretty groovy. And with that you have, uh, I suppose, access to e-course modules. So I did the IFE one there the other day, and I went into what is IFE, mod few definitions, and again, they're kind of short, snappy videos, and they're really easy to digest. So you, you know, I think the, um, the IFE ones are free, so if you've interest, have a look at them, and then obviously there's further information there. And then they offered your certified BIM consultant. So that the BIM consultant will have direct access to the scientific research team, access to open knowledge base, and have access to text paragraphs, infographics, user reports, and will have yearly meetings. So they'll offer a platform and the consultant can use the information within the BIM supporters platform. So within there, you'll be offered a consultant's operation ma manual. You'll get further information about uh, BIM secrets, execution plan, how you can go into the company and train people in the gaps in the execution plan, as well as the BIM compass. So this is uh, an idea of the pricing behind it, the light and to the full. And a certified consultant can validate your BIM company, can make it possible to share your reports, finalise execution plans, give an open BIM secrets workshop and answer your questions. So this is the map here. And as we can see that there are plenty of dots around the world of BIM consultants. We have one in Ireland. So uh, I think Alan is actually the only registered BIM consultant at the moment. So there's plenty of room there to expand on this. And as well as it's quite affordable, it's 89 euro for one year. While we wait for, I suppose, a more traditional Irish database to become available to us with BIM, this is maybe an alternative that we can look at if we want to advance our learnings. And it's, you know, obviously for SMEs that can kind of come in here and see that there's act instant access to this information and it can help within their journey until obviously, hopefully, we establish our own initiative in that regard. Thank you very much and we look forward to talking to you next time.